today buying a motorcycle has become rather transactional you see we buy more motorcycles today than we ever have but only a few of us really own them and that's because it takes a certain special kind of motorcycle to make you do that The Java 42 is that kind of motorcycle. It's easily one of the coolest looking bikes around. So charmingly neoclassic and yet firmly urban. It's also a lot of fun to ride. The 42 has always stood for nimble, agile handling and that J Panther engine. It's super smooth, super responsive and it's quick enough to take you back in time. What also to like is that large 13.2 litre fuel tank, the 780mm seat height and that high ground clearance, all of which gives it tremendous versatility. I'm not surprised the legend we're about to meet today is hopelessly in love with his 42. Before I say anything else, here's his story. Kunal Ranjan is a man of men. A thinker by compulsion and, by his own admission, not a fan of the rule book, Kunal has lived life on his own terms for as long as he can remember. He owns a Java 42 and he will trade it for nothing. Yes, that's true. I won't. There's not a single day it's sitting idle at home. And whenever I look at it, it's the same excitement as I saw it in the showroom. Okay, it's very clear that you are actually in love with your 42. But does that love make you past its flaws? Sort or in fact, let me put it this way. What's your least favorite thing about living with it? That I can't have two. <laughs> well, you need to understand that every motorcycle has their own wear and tear. So your 42 and my 42 will bear in a very different way. But remember what I said, I love it. And it happens differently to different riders. It's my responsibility to take care of it and maintain it. Yeah, but don't you find that tedious? I mean, when you buy a brand new bike, don't you want all of it to be taken care of? Yes, it would be tedious. If it was an appliance or something like a washing machine. But my bike, helps me travel, helps me see the world. How difficult would it be to maintain it? So, you're saying that the takeaway compensates for the experience? No such thing. See, because I love motorcycles, I'm excited to learn about them and keep them running like clockwork. And that takes some discipline. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, what would be so easily start is that a motorcycle always goes through such tremendous stress. I mean, there's heat, there's friction, there's all kinds of road conditions, right? And when you look at it that way, you realize that a motorcycle is a mechanical masterpiece. In fact, perhaps the ultimate form of, of mechanical performance there is. So the new care and maintenance is part of the magic, no? And anyway, it's in Java. There's always a service center around anywhere in India. Yeah. And with a two-year warranty, and uh, affordable prices, it's the easiest thing to live with. I'll be honest with you, I think you are a rare breed, but a breed that's thankfully increasing in number, slowly but steadily. Thank you. For me also, the hope is that a lot of people really own their pride and joy. And today with the internet, it's just so easy to write anything. And they're in so much rush to jump to conclusions. Instead, if we work on developing some mechanical empathy and really begin to understand our motorcycles, I think it will make the whole experience and the community so much happier. This stuff needs to be heard. You know, honestly, thank you, Kunal, because your perspective has made this conversation so much more memorable. And I hope to meet many more like you as we go on in our pursuit of chasing stories of legends. Thank you. Thank you.
In the universe of motorcycles, there are riders and there are legends. They are the wise ones, the ones who know that the only motorcycle you can truly own is one that owns your heart.